Boom. All right. So I'm back. We're going to talk about forearms and how they play the major role in the golf swing with compression. And I'll explain the differences in it. And this is going to be probably the number one video you're ever going to see about why the shaft leans forward at impact, how to compress the ball with power, and not have a flip. Okay, so let's get into it. So a couple of things when we talk about and, the, and how your brain perceives what I'm saying is when I'm talking about different hands and muscles and all of that. So the other video I'm talking about how the arm keeps width. Okay. Well, all I'm basically telling you to do is that the elbow bends at this joint and then it stays at that same joint. Okay. There is, by the way, there, how the hell is that? There's no flying elbow. Flying elbow is when the elbow goes out like this, okay? So you guys need to understand when you're leaving comments, that's fine, I'm gonna, and I love you guys, okay? All of you, right? I'm trying to help you guys, okay? It's the only reason why I'm doing this. Now, so here's what actually happens. The forearms are rotating, and that is what makes your hands be on plane. So when people talk about swinging the weight of the club, that could be true or not. I can swing the weight of the club and my hands can do this. See, my forearms aren't rotating at all. Well, that golf club is not anywhere near on plane. Well, maybe if some teacher thinks the club face is shut like that, it is. But so when I'm doing this with my hands and I'm swinging the club now back where it's on the toe line or so, then, well, what made that happen? What was the difference? Well, you can see my forearm rotated, see? So if all you, and, and some people will say, take the thumbs up or make a L shape, okay? So, um, and some of my best ball strikers are left-handed more than right-handed, and the reason is because their forearm, when you hit balls just with your left arm only, you're not gonna be strong enough not to not rotate your forearm. So when your forearm rotates, this, rotation of this arm is what makes the hand compress the ball and then go over to the other side. If I'm here, watch this, and my hand unwinds, my forearm did not rotate. So my left forearm rotating is what squares the club face up. Now Pete Cowan will say, and by the way, None of this shit should be trademarked by, hey, this is Roger King's forearms, okay? Or Pete Cowan says, spin the arm down, so he has that trademark copied, right? That's just how he says it so he can relate to people, all right? So, and if Eblad or whatever is hitting the golf ball and he's flinging the face, his forearm is rotating, okay? So, a double pendulum's forearm rotation. Now, that being said, so I want you guys to understand, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm trying to just teach human body parts, okay? But, you know this hits the golf ball. So when he says, so when Pete Cowan says, spin the right arm down, what that is, is that's the whole forearm rotating. See, so if the forearms rotate, then you can put pressure on the golf club, like that. I can do all the leg motion I want to do. I can do a Sam Snead squat. I can jump up and I can flip my hands right here. Look what I did. Did my forearms rotate? No. I can go right here. Now watch this. Forearms rotated. Hey, look, I got compression again. See, so I want you guys to clearly see this forearm rotating like this is what makes the golf ball go far. Now, I know you haven't seen all 90 something videos of mine. And I know that when I go viral, I get a lot more people and welcome to the channel and I, and I try to post things that only make sense. So and if I'm swinging in a circle and I swing through my golf club, you can see what happened for me to do that. Watch my arm. You can see my whole forearm rotates. So that is here. So when people say swing the golf club, they might do this because that's what they've been trained to do especially if you have a reverse pivot, your weight goes backwards. So what are you going to do? Well, you've got to dump the angle. So if you go backwards, can you rotate your forearm? I highly doubt it. Okay. Now for those people that uh, think about the chest opening and that's what gives you compression, uh, that's a kernel of truth. Okay. So when I'm here and I turn and I compress, 
I'm gonna keep the shaft angle forward. Absolutely, and did my forearm rotate? No, it did not. But my elbow has to bend now. And can my right arm extend? Not really, because see, my elbow has to be bent. And this is a real hard position for people to get to. And then other instructors will say, okay, well, I need you to turn your hand down to square the club face, see? So they're doing this to square the club face. Well, when you do that, you're, you're compressing the ball absolutely, but you are definitely not now gonna have any forearm rotation to add pop to it. So you're gonna have to do something along like those lines. And that's why when people get the club face shut or so at the top of their golf swing, they've already got that position. So now all they have to do, they have to rotate and block. See, and the club face is square and the handled way out in front. But this really wouldn't hurt anybody where that does, okay? So I'm backhanding. Like I did a video on backhands. Hell, I've done a shit ton of videos, guys, see? So I'm trying to relate it to you guys to understand this, right? So some point or another, you guys are gonna go, Oh, I feel like that L to L shape turns it down. Or if I'm a Pete Cowan fan, I spin my right arm down. Or I feel like I throw my right hand and arm under and extend my arm out. Or I backhand. It doesn't matter to me what's in the brain that makes you do it, but it's your forearms here that is the only way to compress the golf ball. This arm doing that. Just like that and just like that. So you can kind of see, so it's on plane here. Why is it on plane? Because my forearm rotated to put it on plane. Hit the golf ball on here, and then my forearm rotates there. Couldn't make it more simple, I hope. Okay, so come see me at the golf course, Country Hills, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Email me at rkswingking at gmail.com uh, for Zoom golf, golf lessons. And, and I mean, within a day or two, guys, I'm gonna be launching the website so I can see all of your golf swings. So what you think you're doing and doing are two different things. I'll be able to see your golf swing, analyze it, show you what you need to do. Boom, just like that. I'll get you guys going. Everybody have a great day.